Hi everybody, Andy here with eTrailer.com and today we're going to take a look at this Dutton Lanson Strong Arm Electric Winch with Pulley Block. Now this is a 120 volt AC powered winch that's going to work anywhere AC power is available with a 10 foot 3 wire grounded power cord. It has a load capacity of 2700 pounds and a double line capacity of 4000 pounds. And that rating is based on a 10 foot pole. This three position power switch is going to allow you to load and unload and it automatically returns to the off position as you can see there when you release the switch. And it has a mechanical friction brake that locks the reel to hold the load. The spring loaded clutch lever allows you to release the load without power providing smooth load control from locked or freewheel position. And I have this currently in the engage position, and then you would just turn it clockwise to put it into the freewheel position, and that's going to allow you to, uh, to uh, pull the line uh, to where you need it freely. And then, as you can see, this is going to spring back into the engaged position when you start to move it out of the free wheel position. So as you see, I let go of that clutch. It's going to be in the free wheel position. And then when I let it go, it's going to spring back into that engaged position. Now this has a flexible high strength seven strand by 19 gauge galvanized aircraft cable and a pulley block here. That with a snap hook that is going to uh, provide that double line pulling. The cable is 50 feet long, making it great for that double line operation. And the, the safety snap hook will keep the load securely attached and the wire cable uh, can be swapped out for a two inch wide strap with a, a wider face plate sold separately. So I am including that item number on your screen uh, for that wider face plate. Uh, if you would like to check that out, just take our item number that you see there and put that in the search field of our website and that will take you to that product. Now, double line pulling is achieved by taking this hook and hooking it somewhere close to your winch. And then you will pull with this pulley block and snap hook. And that's how you're going to obtain that greater pulling rate of 4,000 pounds. An emergency crank handle comes standard that you can use in the event of power failure. And I do want to show you that on the side here, there is a cap that you would remove to uh, gain access uh, to where you would attach your crank handle. Now the heat treated gears are going to provide smoother, quieter, a smoother, quieter ride and greater strength and the precision, the precision needle bearings in high load areas create low friction and promote longer life. Now let me see if I can show you the bottom of this here briefly. The die, the die formed base is adapted for quick mounting applications. I do want to point out that the base hole pattern measurements and diagrams can be found on this product page if you are needing those measurements to determine if this will fit the application that you would like to mount it to. The high impact weather resistant case provides excellent protection for the internal components while at the same time being safer than open real models. The brushed stainless steel front plate is going to offer superior rust resistance. This is made in the USA and the current draw um, at uh, 6 amp, uh, this is, is 6 amps at 120 volts. And it is important to note that electric winches should be used intermittently. Uh, maximum continuous run time is 4 minutes. Now the gear ratio is 570 to 1. And we already talked about the uh, cable length that is 50 feet long, but the diameter is 7 30, uh, 30 seconds of an inch in diameter. And the load speed uh, with no load and a full reel is 9 feet per minute. And at a full load, 
and a full reel is four, four feet per minute. Now I did take some measurements of the winch itself earlier and uh, we're sitting right at about 11 inches long and at the widest point including our, uh, our clutch here we're sitting at about nine inches wide and then at the tallest point eight inches tall. Instructions are included and that's going to conclude our brief look today. I do hope that it was helpful for you. Again, my name is Andy. Thank you for joining me.